Gemma, all in all, maybe a disappointing afternoon despite a 2-2 draw at home to Coventry. I felt disappointed immediately after the game because um, I thought we uh, dominated for uh, a large part of the second half. Although I probably could see the goal coming towards the end, they piled the pressure on. We weren't clearing our lines. Um, but 2-2, two, two, I do feel disappointed to only take a point from today, um, despite probably um, us not particularly playing well in the first half. I thought we'd done enough second half. In fact, when we first, when we scored within the first minute of the second half, I thought, right, here goes. Um, you know, and we created so many chances today. Um, the girls have got to be disappointed with themselves that they're not putting them in the back of the net because it's pile, allowed them to pile on the pressure at the other end. Um, so, you know, yes, I'm disappointed that we've not taken the three points. I'm happy with the most part of the second half of the uh, performance. Obviously, the second goal was absolutely fantastic, well worked. Um, but yeah, I can't feel help. I can't help feel a, a, a little, a little disappointed with that. And be more clinical in front of goal. Is that maybe something to work on then? Because if we had scored them chances, as you said, we wouldn't have had the pressure at the other end. Exactly. Um, yes, of course it is. And you'd like to think when you've got the likes of Saffron and Tash Flint and uh, you know Jess and Rima um, in front of goal, and we, you know, we we committed a lot of bodies forward today. Um, that you know you get you get in those people that have have got uh, technically very good, um, but it just it just wasn't happening. Maybe it was one of those games whereby I thought we should have had a penalty before we scored, uh, and it wasn't awarded. And then we there was a silly free kick given against us. And again, I, I just I thought that was uh, that was that was a, a poor free kick to give away. But um, we lost possession in in their sort of eighteen yard area. But maybe it was one of those games. The positive side of it is that we've got we've got a point from today. Um, that's four points from a possible six in the league. Um, it means that we're unbeaten in the last two league games. You know, we maybe we're, we're sort of building some momentum. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, I guess overall, you know, I should be happy with that. But um, like I say, I can't help but feel uh, a little let down from uh, the, the final 10-15 minutes. And another positive, although it doesn't put points on the board, is the highest ever crowd for a home game for Rovers ladies. Just talk a bit about what that means kind of to the whole club in terms of getting more people through the gates. Yeah, well I, I think you know we've played at Ewood Park before, obviously not in this division. Um, and it's fantastic, first and foremost, to, to play at Ewood Park. Of course, the girls like it. I like being here. It's our home, perhaps not our footballing home in terms of our home ground, but um, yeah, it's a, fast, a fantastic occasion to be at Ewood. Um, and it's so good to welcome so many spectators, and let's hope that we've um, sort of committed those now to come and to watch us when we're at home at Bamba Bridge. Um, it, it makes a huge difference for the girls, of course, um, to have people following them. Um, so I really do hope that uh, you know they've seen enough today in order to to come down to the to the, to the following games uh, this season.